Road users who apply the Adenta Dodowa stretch say they are upbeat about the commencement of work to dualize the stretch. The road has been a major traffic bottleneck for residents who plied the route over the years. However, contractors tell City News they are hoping to complete works on the road in the next 18 months. City News' Caleb Kuda has the rest of the story. The Adenta Dodowa Road is a 22-kilometer single lane that connects road users from Accra to the Eastin and Volta regions. Population growth along the stretch without the commensurate improvement and expansion on the single lane road over the years has rendered it a traffic-prone area and the unenviable image as a vehicle-wrecking stretch with potholes dotted over every kilometer. Residents and road users here have paid the price for its deteriorating state. The road has been very bad because of traffic situation. I wake up in Sioux and then uh, the traffic situation makes me wake up early in the morning just to be the traffic. So I have to get up or get out of the house by 5 o'clock. And uh, to get back is about uh, 9 or 9.30 and it's very bad. I go to work in Accra and I'm supposed to wake up around 4 sometimes even earlier than four. Just just be able to beat the traffic and then get to work very early. And anytime I close from work, it's, it's, it's a disaster because I come home around 9 p.m. I close 4 30 and I go around 9 p.m. because of the bad room. It's always traffic, always traffic and stress. Personally, I decided to build my house here because there was not too much traffic. I mean, I'm talking about in the 2000s. Yeah, but of late, it appears everybody moved from all sides of the city and moving here and the traffic is so worrisome. I actually always leave my house before 5 a.m. before I get to my office because my office is at the ministries. Especially from OEB to Dodoa is very, 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 very high. And port goes, traffic, even from here at least from 2 o'clock going, no, more than 3 hours. To alleviate the plight of commuters and residents, the government has declared the road a national security priority, thereby awarding its dualization to Ghanaian construction firm Oswell Investments Limited. The stretch will be dualized with service lanes. However, heavily populated areas like Adenton, Amrahia, Ashie and Oibi would not have service lanes. When City News visited the area, it was observed that most structures within the scope of the road project had been cleared from Adentan to Dodowa and Dodowa to Adentan. Behind me is the toll booth on the Adenta Dodowa Road. It's one of the significant landmarks on this stretch. It's been obsolete in a long while. But if I turn around and um, you observe, You'd notice that the huge trees that were here that provided uh, a shade for uh, market here, where market women sold mangoes, both the fruits and the seedlings and other fruits, you find that the whole place has been cleared, except that there are a few canopies here where some of them still uh, sell some products. City News understands the clearing will be followed by the construction of drains within the alignment of the project. Electricity, telephony and sewer lines are being relocated to make way for the commencement of earthworks. City News spotted contractors working to relocate the first five kilometers of the pipelines after which earthworks will take off in earnest. 30 culverts will be required on the Adentan Dodowa stretch. Some were seen at the campsite of the contractors, with others already positioned along the stretch. The contractors are confident they will complete the project in 18 months, and the residents are expectant. If indeed this road is going to be done within 18 months, that will clap for whoever is doing the road. Yes, except that, you know, most often than not, we hear 18 months and it takes more than years, especially as this year is the uh, election year. In case government is changed we don't want the new government to come and say that they are going to do audit and all those things and waste our time but this, when the road is done this, how will they help you yeah. this road i understand is of a security concern mm -hmm. we want the authority to do it as fast as possible if if it works then fine because i've seen these things happen a lot of times not this particular place but places where they they break down stuff and they say they want to do construction 
but it stays there for, for like 15 years, 20 years, and then nothing is being done. But if it will be done, then that's nice. I'll be very happy because I know we'll have double roads, and then the traffic will, will reduce and everything will, will be fine. So. Uh, having seen the road cleared in preparedness for to start to construct a new road for us, will go a very long way to help all of us. Mm. Meanwhile, City News understands that the contractors awarded the Adentan Dodowa Road. Oswell Investments Limited, who are the same contractors behind the construction of the Borteman Road, would hand over the Borteman Road to the government in five weeks. For City News, I am Caleb Kuda.